Welcome back guys, Twan's Wildlife. I'm actually here in my kitchen. What I'm gonna do today is something a little, little different. Um, one of the wide mouth bass I caught, I'm gonna actually do a filet. This is gonna be actually my second time, so I'm gonna see how I do. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button. Please. <laughs> Almost lost my train of thought, but hit that subscribe button, like and share. I'm gonna try to fillet this largemouth bass this is a wildlife channel and yes we fit on wildlife but we're also going to be doing i'm also going to be doing hiking and maybe do fishing and catch release and catch and cook and stuff like that just different things you know so want to um and also travel as well so as you can see from my hawaii trip we i do a lot of traveling so this is also a travel channel but today we're going to fillet this wide mouth this large mouth bass tongue uh tongue tied i'm gonna fillet it and see how i do um leave in the comments with how do you all cook it and season i'm not gonna cook it i'm just gonna freeze it and save it because i'm actually gonna go back out and fish tomorrow with my homeboy and we're gonna go out and, and see what we can catch so whatever i catch i might bring back home and add it to that and save it for a rainy day so let's get started and let's see what we can do okay hit that subscribe button So as you can see, I have the large mouth bass right here. As you can see my hand, I have nice size hands. My hands are not small. So this is a large fish, almost a foot long. One of the tenths of the filet, I got it, not soaking, but just rinse it off with warm water and some salt to kill any bacteria or whatever. So let's get started. Let's see what we can do. And I got my filet knife here also. So let's see what I can do. All right, so here we got it. We're gonna get started. What I would like to do is cut right here behind the gill and the fin here. So I should turn it around, actually. I'm gonna turn it around this way. I'm gonna cut, let me see if you can see that. I'm gonna cut right behind the gill and the fin. So let's get started. Okay, now I'm going to come back in here, turn the knife, and cut right along the dorsal fin, filling the bones. That is right there. And then as we get a little closer to the tail, Close to the tail. I'm gonna cut right here. All the way, but I'm not gonna cut the tail all through past through the whole tail. I'm gonna stop about right there. Okay. So I can be able to flip it. And then I'm going to inside, you can see that. Bring it down a little lower. Right here. Just Right up against the spine, just fillet a little bit. Fill the bones. My goal is to try to not get hardly no bones. Before I did, I did, did one really good before. And the other two I did pretty good, but I got little pieces of bone. So I don't want no bone if I can help it. Mm 
cut this through the belly a little more. We have got that much. And now what I want to do is I'm going to turn it this way. And I am going to, right here, you see this right there, at the tail, cut. Oops, cut. Right against the tail. If you hear somebody breathing hard, that is my dog next to me wondering what am I doing. So, do the best I can to fillet this perfectly. And I need to rinse my hands off real quick. I oh, feel some bones in here. Not the best, but this is my second time doing this. I feel some bones in here. I like to try to pull out, but I'm not gonna worry about it. And there we go. Now I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. Okay. Put you at a different angle. Right now I want to turn around so I'm right handed so I want to get a better angle like we did last time move the camera back over here This tail part I'm gonna cut off right now. It's kind of messing me up. All right. Okay. All right. Now let's try to not get any bones on this side.
All right, I'm not doing the best job, but we are going to make it work. Last time I did this, it was much easier and the fish was a little smaller. All right, that was a little tougher than usual, but um, okay. All right, let's go ahead and fillet this. All right, man. So, here we go. Piece of filet, my second time doing this. Now, I am doing a stripe bass. At least that's what somebody told me what this cost. So I already started um, filleting it. So, hold, let's see if I can do a better job with this, okay? So far, so good with this one. way over there. It's not much meat on this one. I actually did a better job with this one. Look at that.
All right, let's flip it over to the other. So let's take this tail off so it doesn't be in the way. Toss this in the bag. All right, let's flip it over and do it again. For some odd reason, I am getting held up right here, so. longer than the other side and there we have it all right so guys, that was the stripe bass. So I did two different fish actually. This one I actually did a better job, I think. But hit that subscribe button. Um, leave in a comment how you cook, how do you cook them? I think I might make these into some nuggets or something. Check out more of my content, Twan's Wildlife. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, guys, you all be blessed. And I'm gonna freeze these and go out with my homeboy tomorrow, catch catch some more fish, and maybe this weekend grill or friday so um thank you for tuning in again guys so please hit that subscribe button all right peace